What is going on guys? Grave here. Today we got a new trailer for Season 1 from Treyarch. Before I get into all the details, if you're not a subscriber, uh, please take a second to hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. Of course, if you enjoy the video, I would appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and hop right into the news. Treyarch released this cinematic, which is pretty much seems to be the same kind of thing they did with Modern Warfare. You guys remember, if or when a new season started, there was always a cinematic that played each season. Today, they released the cinematic for season one. I will put all this information down in the description if you guys would like to watch this yourself. Of course, I don't always like to upload things like that uh, here on the channel because sometimes you can get copyright strikes from YouTube for having some of the stuff uploaded or you know posted in your video unless you have permission. So I will just link it down in the description in case you guys want to see the trailer for yourself. But it was just that kind of opening cinematic. The two things that were really cool in this opening cinematic was that it showed off, of course, a kind of a, a map stuck on a board that is Rebirth Island. So that officially confirms that Rebirth Island is going to be coming to Warzone. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. They haven't gone into, uh, into any detail about that yet. If it's going to be the official map of Warzone or if it's going to be more of, you know, a extra map that you can play. You can play the original Warzone map or you can play Rebirth Island. But also they showed off a new multiplayer map called uh, Mall at the Pines. That's kind of where the cinematic takes place. Mall at the Pines looks like kind of a, a that 80s themed uh, mall back in the day. I'm not sure if a lot of you are old enough to remember that. I was born in the 80s, so in the early 80s. So I remember malls when I was a small kid. You know, they're always kind of that. If you watch Stranger Things, uh, the latest season uh, that came out of Stranger Things, where they were in the mall. That's kind of what malls all looked like. Then. You know, it was this big, new, popular kind of thing in, you know, the 80s. So everything with these neon signs and just kind of crazy looking inside of a mall. That's kind of what this multiplayer map reminds me of from the screenshots and the images we got to see in this clip. This does uh, give me a, a bit of confidence, to hopefully, that we'll get some really good maps. If they're going to continue to make new maps, that they're going to be better than what we already had. I've talked about it before. I'm not sure if all of the maps that are in game right now are all Treyarch's ideas. Of course, you know, this was Sledgehammer's game to begin with before everything went down with Sledgehammer. So I'm not sure if Treyarch just had to kind of go with some of the maps that uh, Sledgehammer had already done. Things like Cartel, for instance, because in my opinion, Cartel looks like an Infinity Ward or a Sledgehammer map. It does not look like a Treyarch map. So I'm assuming, you know, a lot of these maps that were, you know, we had early on may not have been all of Treyarch's ideas. They may have changed some things up. But hopefully I'm kind of, I guess, I hoping, praying, wishing, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, that some of the maps we're going to get with DLC uh, in the future with the new seasons are going to be some really nice maps that we kind of expect from Treyarch. Of course, like I said before, we're probably going to get some remastered maps as well. We know we're going to get Raid. So that's fine. If they can get some really nice maps in, like I said, uh, the Mall at the Pines looked like it could be pretty cool, a uh, pretty cool map. It did look kind of dark. I'm not sure if the map's going to be at nighttime. Of course, the trailer was or the cinematic was. That may not be the case necessarily for, uh, you know, the map overall uh, in game. I know a lot of people may not like the idea of something at night again because a lot of people do not like Miami. But anyway, guys, like I said, all this information is going to be linked down in the description if you'd like to watch the uh, kind of cinematic trailer yourself. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you'd like to hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.